Hello, welcome to Hidden Collections. Today we are going to be going over the Battle Academy uh, Pokemon board game. That's what they're calling it. That's what it rang up uh, when I bought it. These are, um, from what I've seen, they're supposed to be exclusively from Target for now, but it was supposed to be online, but now a lot of stores are getting them in stores. So we're going to go through that, but first I'm going to slide it up here quickly, bring this down, coming at a different camera angle so I can get as much as I can of the box, uh, but don't forget, we are going to have the giveaway once we hit 151 subscribers for this EV Funko Pop, uh, so still haven't put out details on what you need to do to enter to win this, but letting everyone know that as soon as we get there, uh, we'll be um, giving this away to somebody, so well, that's out of the way, so we're going to get into this. Um, this goes for, what, $19.99? At Target, so it's a basically it's a big uh, how to play. Is that even a good one? Um, uh, the board game or the board game, the card game. So I think they it's a really uh, interesting product. I mean, it's geared towards getting uh, new players to play it. I mean, or if you have some friends that you want to play with, you know, something where. The decks are probably on a very um, even playing field type of thing. Uh, so, <laughs> if I can get it open, it's sticking to itself. So, yeah, I mean, it is, I mean, the card stock here. I'll try and get it. Sorry that I'm just limited on space. I wish we could do more on these, but... I think here's a good representation of one side of the field. The other side's probably, um, I think it's going to be, oh, it's right there. Um, but it's basically the same. So you got this, and then it folds out. So we got half of it here. You got your bench Pokemon. You got your deck. Uh, discard pile over here on this side. Uh, sorry, I just hit the microphone. You know, you got your active Pokemon here. Uh, and your prize cards on this side. And then you also have... Uh, during your turn, what you can do. So, I mean, it's a very step-by-step -step, um, way of doing it. I mean, it, it rings up as a board game, not as um, the, uh, what do I want to say, as like a Pokemon, you know, card product, because I, I think, I think the sale's still going on as of today. I'm not sure if it's going to extend through the weekend, but there was like 10% off Pokemon products. And, um, but, uh, this didn't count because it came up as a board game instead of an actual, the Pokemon, uh, product. I'm just going to get everything out of the box as we get it all there. We got the big coin, the decks, got this. Here's the Battle Academy box for somebody. Enjoy. Um, here's the Charizard and then... It has Pikachu, but I believe it's Raichu that leads that one, so. But you got your damage counters, all right here, the cardboard kind. Didn't come with dice, so. But enough to play with both. I don't know if there's, unless they don't have to deal with uh, uh, poison and burn with these decks. That's the only thing I consume from, or if, you know, hopefully you would have something. So I'm going to scoot those off. These are just going through uh, the Pikachu deck guide. You know, going through them. Looks like here's the set, the list of what's in the decks. And how to. And it's probably another how to um, for all of them. So. I think same thing for the Charizard deck. There's this, I don't know at this point, as like thinking of like a collect, I think if you get one and keep it sealed, it might have some collector's value. Um, once I get into it to show um, certain things about the, the decks. And then the Mewtwo says advanced rule book, so I don't know if there's more, to, I think it's just more advanced rules, it doesn't, it doesn't look like the Mewtwo deck. Um has it but I think it goes more in depth into 
different rules and different things into the TCG uh, for playing. That's what it looks like when I just briefly look at it. So that's what I see. I don't think it's that the Mewtwo deck is advanced. I think all three decks are probably um, pretty um, close together in uh, power level, I want to say. Oh, I don't even think mine were... And they don't come sealed, so you get the... Um, I believe all three of the GXs are from... Um, what's it called? Hidden Fates. So you got the Raichu GX here. But the cool part about these ones, so it's in its kind of its, its own little thing, is that it has its own little set symbol right here. So it has a little Pikachu with a 60. So each card is labeled 1 through 60 in these so these kind of have become their own little unique i think um other uh products do it like oh where's okay those were that way this is <laughs> um so they're all labeled all the way through kind of go through them uh, I probably won't do uh, prices on them. I mean, I don't know if those will come up yet because they're so soon. But, I mean, I think the normal card of, like, Raichu, Charizard, and Mewtwo from Hidden Fates, um, I think goes, they're about two or three bucks in them. But um, as collecting happens and stuff, this little stamp on the cards may make that Charizard card may, uh, a little bit more valuable. And these might be harder to find. And so what may happen, which I know happens a lot for other things, it's, just, oh, it's not all energies. I thought it was just hitting the bulk of the energies um, that I could take out uh, since I have all three of those cards. And if I wanted to get these graded but maintain the integrity of the decks, um, I would just get go out and buy regular Hidden Fates uh, GX cards, Raichu, Charizard, and uh, Mewtwo. Uh, to just um, go through and just replace them and then send these ones off to get graded because they are stamped. So they have a little bit more, I guess, uniqueness to them. Oh, we'll save Charizard for last. Oh, why don't we get this out here? Never brought this in, but let's see if I can get a good without it being too shiny. That the big coin, like this one's much bigger. Well, I got a Charizard coin that's, yeah. So, as you can see, the coin is uh, much, much larger than normal. I mean, the, wouldn't be surprised because this coin, I mean, there's a lot of, peop a lot of uh, people's favorite, po you know, being from the original generation. Charizard is, Mewtwo is very popular, and Pikachu. So you got probably three of the most popular Pokemon in this giant coin. That wouldn't be surprised if you wanted to get one of these without buying it. It's going to be a few bucks. Maybe even, I think some coins go for like like five bucks. But who knows how much this one would go for. Um, but definitely if you want to you know, play with your friends or something where it's just kind of an even playing field. Uh, that's where I see uh, these decks at. Because yeah, then you got Mewtwo. It's, uh, I wonder if that's a miss... And this one's, wow, that's awesome. This Mewtwo's already damaged. It's bent right here, and it's got a, I don't know if you can see it, but it's it's got a crease through the corner. So this one's kind of, uh, but that's my question. I'm wondering, because the, the Raichu has 60 on it. And it has 1 through 60, but Mewtwo, these ones do not have, um, they're not numbered for some reason. Like, that one, I can keep this deck together if I wanted to, because I can't really um, <laughs> grade that Mewtwo. I mean, a crease like that, it would probably come back just a straight 6. And I'm like, I'm not going to... Let me see. I think it's trying to focus on other things, see if I can move this. Here, I'm trying to get closer so it doesn't. I don't know why it blurs and then unblurs. 
So, just fun uh, going through, like, even this Espeon, it, just because it has that stamp on it, I mean, Espeon's a very popular evolution, so, um, I don't know why it's doing, I know it's in a different spot, but every time, no, not even pulling down. Trust me, it annoys me just as much seeing it happen every time I, I pull a card and it's just unfocus, focus, unfocus, focus onto it. So, but I mean, these cards keep their original set uh, symbol here in the corner. So, a Mew. So, some of these cards, you know. Maybe worth something someday. Um, I would definitely just pick it up as a good product to just play. So you have an even playing field. Especially now if you can see your friends. Eevee. Alright. So we got a Mewtwo deck. Yeah, unfortunately these should be um, cellophane wrap. To have the wrap around them. Because, I mean, you saw me open the box. This is brand new and it's already damaged. So at some point in transportation, since it's loose, and um, that's another thing is them being loose like this is going to make grading these cards even harder. Um, so that's going to be a very... I'm actually going to slide these back in their boxes. Maybe that might help with the focusing issue. So that's highly disappointing. I don't know if... Uh, I know some other TCGs, like, you can come in, like, since I just bought this and I can prove... I mean, like, here, I just opened it and it was a damaged card. Uh, you can send in cards and have them... Uh, re they'll replace them for you. So here we go. Got the Charizard out. Yeah, they're not cut the best. But the Charizard has a 60 on it. I don't know why those Mewtwo ones. I wonder if that's a mis misprint. Um, but yeah, that's, you know, the Hidden Fates Charizard. You know, I think most of these decks are about the same of what's in them. Uh, besides, um, uh, I mean, just the different uh, Pokemon types. So, a oh, Flareon. I don't think I, don't know, I went or just went through it. See this one. Uh, this one's the Dragon Majesty Charizard. So I mean, you have other cards in here that are uh, possibilities. So, but I'm really digging on the the stamp with the number because I think that's what they used to do. Um, if I remember correctly, back when the Japanese were doing theme deck things for certain decks, they would have, the early ones had, like, the number by them, too, as well. So, just a collector's thing, especially, um, even, like, modern-day master sets, you're going to have to get, you know, this is Unified Minds uh, Slazzle, but you can have the... You know, the regular and the reverse hollow, or if it's a hollow, I'm not sure from the set. But then you need this one as well, so that'd be the third variant to have the master set of, you know, all those ones with the stamp. So, or even the same thing with the Charmander from uh, Burning Shadows. So, uh, I just wanted to get through this one. i uh, not going to do uh, uh, packs with this one, so just focus on this product. Uh, on this opening, I know it's probably not as exciting, but um, I have to. F I don't know if I have one, but the the texture. I know I'm feeling the surface, but the the texture. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I have. A, I don't know if I. I think I have like a hidden fates right. You, I'll check it. 
I know. I'm, I'm probably stalling to just add more time. Um, so that's the promo. There we go. Let's pro here we go. I'll pull the right two card out and see. Is it, you know, just noticing the subtle differences and things. So, let's see if the right shoe has. I think yeah. It feels um, more matte, like this. Like, so this is the. Well, it's clear because I have the. So this is the one. It feels smooth. If I rub my uh, thumb across it, it has more of a smooth. This one has more of a matte finish in the uh, hollow. It feels more matte, while this one has a much smoother. So these ones are uh, printed uh, slightly different as well. I think it might come on a different cardstock, and so um, these ones are actually printed differently. It feels a little th thicker. I mean, it's hard to tell the thickness, but it seems uh, more firm on this right too, on the the deck one, than it does out of just the normal. One. I mean, you'd have to hold it in hand and see if um, if what I'm saying is true. But I just noticed that the Charizard had a different feel, and I'm like, oh, I know I have a right shoe, um, so that's why I pulled them out in to compare. But that's the uh, Battle Academy, the the three different decks that come with it, and everything that comes with it. I think it's a great thing to just have to play to have fun with them. Uh, this could come the the biggest part about the whole collector's part of this is the fact that you have stamped cards like this Charizard is, is stamped and with the other Charizard in here that's uh, stamped as well I can find it I don't know Maybe. then you have a stamped one here that um, that collectors will be looking at it and then it's you know like I was saying it has a different texture to it so it's kind of a different card I mean it's out there uh, but that's just going through it. It looks like a great product uh, to get. I got one. I'm, I'm sure I can start playing with uh, maybe uh, with some friends or something. Or you know, maybe further on, it might, it might be going to a lucky viewer or if you're a subscriber of the channel. Uh, maybe in a further giveaway. So I hope this was you know, informative to you know, give you an idea of something that you might want to pick up. I think it's something to pick up. Even if you don't use it, keep it sealed. This product might take a longer time to to grow in value, but what I'm saying is this Charizard and the other Charizard, anything Charizard that's different. So, and with these being loose in how they are, they're going to be hard to get graded. So a lot of people are going to be going after them to get graded. And, you know, you might even find these these Academy things just missing the two Charizards. And you could probably pick them up pretty cheap, like, oh, another $2 here and, a you know, I don't know how much the Dragon Majesty Charizard is, but it's probably not so expensive that you could replace them and then you can probably get a brand new Battle Academy for not very much. Uh, but keep a lookout for them. Uh, I know this is <laughs> way longer than I thought it would be. Um, uh, tomorrow doing um, the Cinderace V-Box. So uh, just bump that and then you'll see next Saturday. I'm, I'm hoping to hold... A Saturday video that I've had a bump a little bit further for these new products. So, um, thanks for watching. Like always, thanks for hitting that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you think of this. Uh, until next time, have a great day. See you later.